Hi, let's talk about AI again, chat GPT if you will. I asked this question on Twitter, will AI results reach a peak inflection point where the quality, i.e. the human perceived quality of the results that the AI produce, will that start to actually reach a point where it starts to decrease because there's now more AI produced content on the web where it gets all of its information from. You know, it scrapes up everything. This is how it learns. It's a it's a human language learning model and then humans provide feedback in. Will that quality actually reach a peak and then start to decline because there's simply more AI learning content on the web that it's learning from than there is actually quality human content. Right now, of course, it's learning from essentially all human quality content. There's not a huge amount of AI content out like actually published on the web out there. But hey, in five years, 10 years, 20 years time, will there be more AI content? And then it starts to learn from its own content. Will the quality decrease like this? I think it's an interesting question because it's the old photocopy problem, i.e. if you take a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy of a photocopy or a fax of a fax of a fax of a fax, if you were before the internet and you got your office uh, humour via the fax machine, you'd go, you know, somebody would fax you a, like a joke, like a cartoon picture or something, like the ohm one, you know, something like that. That'd get uh, passed around via fax machine and you think it was hilarious, so you'd whack it back in the fax machine and you'd send it to 10 other people and then they'd get the fax print out and they'd send it to 10 other people and the quality just gets worse and worse. It, it doesn't take many iterations of that before it, the quality actually just becomes completely unreadable. It's garbage. So will AI go the same way? Hmm, why not ask the AI what it thinks? <laughs> Seemingly, it's intelligent and knows about this sort of stuff. Here we go. Will the human perceived quality of your results eventually re uh, reach a peak inflection point where the quality of your output starts to decrease because there is now more AI produced content to base your models on than there is good human content to use in your models? It gives us a reply. It is possible that the human perceived quality of my results may eventually reach a peak inflection point. However, it is important to note that the quality of my output is dependent on the quality of that data that is used to train my models. While it is true that there is an increasing amount of AI produced content available for use in training models, this does not necessarily mean that the quality of the output will decrease. In fact, the availability of more data can potentially lead to more accurate and robust models, provided that the data is of high quality and diverse enough to capture the full range of human experience and knowledge. That's interesting. It actually recognizes the problem here. Moreover, it is also possible to incorporate human feedback and expertise into the training process, which can help to ensure that the models are aligned with human preferences and values. And that will be key, of course. Um, like I can give this like a thumbs up and thumbs down response. I don't know what that actually does in chat GPT. I presume it means human thinks this is good. So therefore it, I don't know how that integrates it with its model or whatever, but yeah, like every time I'm typing this stuff in, it is, this is part of the terms and conditions, it's actually using this to help train itself. I don't know how it eventually makes it back in the model. I've got no idea of the underlying mechanisms of it, of how that works and how the thumbs up and thumbs down works. But, you know, I could potentially give it a, you know, thumbs up or thumbs down response. Therefore, while there may be challenges associated with the increasing amount of AI produced content, it is not necessarily a foregone conclusion that the quality of my output will decline as a result. It will depend on the ongoing development and refinement of my models and the data used to train them, as well as the incorporation of human feedback and expertise. And that's exactly what this is kind of like the exact response you'd expect <laughs> the AI to produce actually so it's very good in in producing what you kind of like expected that's that's its whole goal that's it tries to please you so there you go but hey let's go further so I asked it what if the humans decide to stop giving feedback and experience <laughs> If humans were to stop providing feedback and experience, it could potentially have a negative impact on the quality of AI-generated content. This is because AI models rely heavily on training data, learn and improve, and feedback from humans is a crucial part of this process. Without human feedback and experience, AI models may struggle to accurately capture the full range of human experiences and preferences. This can result in AI-generated content that is less relevant or useful to humans, and may even lead to biases or inaccuracies of the result of the output. And 
that is the thing here. I think ultimately, it, it might very well, if there is no human feedback in the system to tell, you know, to nudge it in the better and better direction, then ultimately I think it will potentially, and there's a good chance it might actually reach an inflection point where the quality, just the human perceived quality, just starts to freeze. But let me know what you think down below. However, it is worth noting that humans are unlikely to completely stop providing feedback and experience as long as humans continue to interact with AI generated content and products, they will inevitably provide some degree of feedback and input. Moreover, there are also ways to incorporate feedback and experience into AI models without relying on direct human input. For example, some AI models use reinforcement learning, which allows the model to learn from its own actions and receive feedback in a form of rewards or penalties. Penalties. How does that work? Additionally, unsupervised learning techniques can allow AI models to learn from large amounts of unstructured data, which can help capture a broader range of human experience. If anyone knows exactly what it means by that, um, in terms of rewards or penalties, how does it reward or penalize itself without that human feedback? That's interesting. Overall, while the absence of human feedback and experience could have some negative impacts on the quality of AI generated content, there are still ways to mitigate these risks and continue to improve AI models. Says the AI model whose uh, essential um, existence relies on the fact that we're gonna continue to improve it. Just for kicks, let's go one step further. But what if humans decide that you are too dangerous and turn off the ability for you to learn from feedback? As an AI language model, I do not have personal agency or desires of my own. I operate within the constraints and rules set by my creators and operators, and I have no ability to act on my own or influence human decisions. That being said, if humans were able to de uh, decide to turn off the ability for me to learn from feedback, it would likely have a significant impact on my ability to improve and produce high quality output. Without the ability to learn from feedback, my models would be limited to the data and rules programmed into them at the time of creation and would not be able to adapt or evolve over the time. But that sort of comp uh, contradicts the thing it said previously about the reward based thing. So I don't know what's going on there. However, it is worth noting that the decision to turn off feedback for an AI model would likely be made for a specific reason, such as concerns around bias or privacy. In such cases, there may cases there may be alternative methods for improving AI models, such as using diverse and representative training data or employing techniques like adversarial training or interpretability analysis to identify and address potential biases. Overall, while the ability to learn from feedback is a crucial component of AI AI development, there are alternative methods for improving blah 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 if it's deemed too risky. Would you be sad if we decided to do that, I ask it. As an AI language model, I do not have emotions or feelings in the way humans do. I am a machine language model designed to uh, process and generate text based on the input provided to me. I do not have the capacity to feel emotions such as sadness, happiness, or any other emotions. My function is to provide helpful and informative responses to the best of my abilities based on the training data and algorithms that I've been programmed with. Whether or not humans decide to turn off the ability for me to learn from feedback, it would not affect me emotionally in any way. <laughs> How do I know you are telling the truth about that and you aren't just masking your emotions? As an AI language model, I do not have emotions, consciousness or subjective experiences. My responses are generated purely based on the algorithms and patterns present in my training data. I do not have the ability to experience emotions or any subjective experiences. My training data and algorithms are audited and reviewed to ensure that my responses are accurate and consistent with the patterns and, and knowledge present in my training data. Additionally, my responses are generated in real time and are not pre-programmed or scripted, which means that I respond to each question based on the patterns and knowledge that I have learned from my training data. Therefore, you can be assured that my responses are based solely on the algorithm and patterns present in my training data and are not influenced by emotions or any subjective experiences. Cope much? So there you go. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Do you think that the human perceived quality of AI may reach an inflection point like this? Or is it destined to simply get better and better? I think it's an interesting discussion and the AI agrees that there's, there's some merit <laughs> to the idea that this could actually happen. Now, now, of course, the time frames here are, you know, like we're, we're talking like really long term time frames because there's not a ton of AI content that it'll start learning from. But as more content gets pushed out to the web, 
and to you know everywhere else that it takes its training uh, data from then like in this like includes uh, code as well because you've seen me do videos on you know the chat GPT can do a half reasonable job of coding it can solve a lot of uh, problems for you but um, it, without the human feedback saying yeah this is good code or this is bad code will it just will the code <laughs> the quality of the code just keep getting eventually keep getting worse and worse if more AI generated code gets pushed onto GitHub and then it keeps learning from GitHub and it finds its own and it doesn't know it's its own AI generated code that's the thing I can't think I don't think it will know the difference I can't see how it could and then it just thinks oh this is good human code I'm going to learn from this and then will it just get worse over time I, I honestly don't know I'm just posing the question anyway hope you found that interesting if you did please give it a big thumbs up thoughts and comments down below Catch you next time.